You draw the world a powerful card, she says. It symbolizes growth, perfection, and success. No, I don't want to be cool. I don't want to be a cool guy. I want to be a professional guy. Falcon is not cool at all, believe me. Welcome back, everybody, to Tavernier. I am your host and bartender for this evening, the burn man known as Falcon. So go on ahead and grab a stool, get really close. I'd like to tell you a story here today. See, now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. Okay, okay, okay. I think we all know where we're going with this. But anyway, we're back here on Tavernier. I hope you guys are enjoying it. It does seem you did enjoy the first episode. This is going to be a Falcon one-shot, but I got a lot of people asking for more. And I'll be honest with you, I was hoping you would say some more because I liked it myself a lot too. And I don't mind continuing this series going forward here. So let me know in the comments and by leaving a like if you want to see the entire run. And we'll do it. But for now, let's actually get underway over here. So, at the moment, we have 4,500 gold and 130 customers. We're in week number 9. Apparently, I believe the game ends when this hourglass is completely empty. So, we have 43 more weeks before this run is over with. And what's really cool about the game, there's different routes you could take. So, there's multiple playthroughs, which is really, really cool. Um, I guess for now, let me look at the decorations here. I think I really want to unlock this bad boy right here. Because then, if we go over to gold, you could probably even buy this one for 3,000. And that'll give me an extra 1,000 gold per week which is going to help us out with our profits going forward. So I think we just hold up and just not waste any money until we get that. Now, is there any extra food? No. I mean, wanderers have pretty much given up on us, so let's not even actually focus on them. How have we... What about if we go with a grilled boar or an emmental for the rogues? We do have a lot of rogues here. Let me do the grilled boar. I know I'm trying to save money, but this might be useful. So we'll do that until we have more guards coming in. And for now, let's actually just skip forward. A heated debate has come to your town. Two guilds now have an outpost in it. The Guild of Adventurers and the Guild of Explorers. The debate is which one should be allowed resources as they're both doing the same thing. That being said, the truth is that the Guild of Explorers is a front for less legitimate activities. Oh, that's probably something rogue related, I would imagine. Um, and what about the other one? Maybe the other one's... I don't think it's folk. Maybe wanderers? Maybe wanderers. Well, since we kind of cater towards rogues as well, what if we do... The Explorer's one is the one as a front. Let's go with that one. Let's be honest, Guild is a term coined by thieves and rogues. It's almost uh, surprising that there is a legitimate one. Hey, we got one extra customer from that. <laughs> Pretty cool. 728 profit, not bad. We're making money on our own now, at least, without waiting for events to kind of give us a favor. So, what are we looking at now? 26, 49, and 25. Let's go towards guards again, since we have an extra food for them. Well, the folks do as well. Mm, yeah, let's go for guards again. We're at 4,400 here at the moment. Eh, let's go ahead and start our week. While you're bringing some ale to a patron, you hear a meowing. There's a cat sitting next to you on a chair, looking up to you. A female voice starts resonating in your head. Give me fish, human. Give me. F give me. Uh, give the cat a fish. Give the cat some milk. Did this cat just talk to me? <laughs> That's a very good question, and there's the cat right here. What if I give it some milk instead? Let's go with milk. That's not fish, human, you idiot! But the cat drinks it all the same. A patron, apparently the owner of the cat, gives you a purse for your trouble. Hey! Pretty cool. We got some profits out of doing that one. By the way, I gotta tell you, it's some really expensive-ass milk. You give somebody some milk and they give you 1,500 gold? Woohoo! Well, anyway, we're doing pretty good here now in terms of our money. Is it time for us to open up a decoration? It just might be. We might as well open it now. So, that's set up here. I don't think we have enough money for the extra gold. Soon, though. What if for now we actually just set up the... The folks want to be back here for now. That drops for wanderers per week, but that's fine because we have no wanderers. We do have folks in, so we do this and this and that's that. Now, there's the upgrade as well. What I don't like about the upgrade for the next level is that this is going to give us 10% more folks, which is fine. However, we're going to lose 5 guards and 5 rogues percent per week. And remember, after guards is folks, I believe. Yeah, we have guards as our main priority, then rogues and folks. So we're going to be losing our two main priorities for the folks. I don't think that's really too useful. The same thing applies to the guards, which is going to be rogues and folks. And rogues is locked because we haven't bought this for 100. Should we just open that up now to see what the next one would be? Well, let's do it, why not? It's only 100 gold. We would lose folks and wanderers. This isn't really too bad. Yeah, I mean, we'll lose folks, sure, but we'll get, like, more rogues instead. That's quite a bar, though, you know, a bunch of guards and rogues here. What a pairing, I gotta tell you. 
Well, for now, let's skip forward, and we'll just keep it in the back of our head here. Uh, according to your friends, the secret meeting should be tonight. You take your cloak, a dagger, and start wandering the streets hoping to find a clue. After a moment, you notice most people are going towards the same district, and start following them. There, hidden near the walls, a flight of stairs goes deep underground. But just as you start going down, a guard in some religious outfit you've never seen before stops you. HALT! We know who you are, and you are not welcome here for the moment. Only those of great value to the town are allowed to pass. Uh, those of great value, are you missing something? Uh, no need to bother guard further, return to your tavern. If the law says you can't enter, you can't enter, return to your tavern. So either way, we're going back. Um, I guess maybe you have like either a cool or professional option here. This one sounds more professional to me, so we'll go with that one. You shrug and resume your daily activities? Yeah, I'm in towards professional. Sweet. Now, if I'm correct, let me check this out properly. Alignment Professional 7. You are so professional that you have a discount and a reduction of your taxes by 1%. Oh, sweet. So the more professional I get, we pay less. Huh? Pretty good. Okay, so we have 3,000 now. Do you guys think we should waste a little bit of money and get this um, rogue upgrade? And what we do is we get rid of the guard one. So it kind of counter affects the sickle, and then we have no folks going down, but rogues going up by a lot. I think that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and buy this one for 300 roughly. Hidden back door. And let's get rid of Famous Halberd, and we'll put the hidden back door. Okay, pretty good. And now... Let's see our food. I would like to buy this, but I don't want to spend too much more money than I really have to, but that means more people spending money. Let's go to the cave. Let's get rid of you, and let me just buy this. There you go. So now we have the high price items for the folks, the guards, and the highest one for the rogues. I mean, remember, we, they spend more money this way too, so let's go forward. A strange mage with an ornamented deck of cards comes to your bar. For the price of a beer, she'll look into the future on the topic of your choice. Why not? You give her a drink and look at the cards spread before you. Think about your tavern, think about your patrons, think about yourself. What do you guys think here? I mean, I'm looking for professional or money. Would myself be money? Would this be professional? Would this be cool? I mean, that's what I'm kind of leaning towards here. Now, think about the tavern. You draw the world, a powerful card, she says. It symbolizes growth, perfection, and success. No, I don't want to be cool! I don't want to be a cool guy. I want to be a professional guy. Falcon is not cool at all, believe me. Actually, I'm a very cool person. If I do say so myself. But, I mean, the game already professional, not cool. Alrighty, so next time, don't do the tavern. <laughs> okay. Let's see, 2940. Mm, we're getting kind of close to our goal, I gotta tell you. Which is gonna be gold up here. 3,000 required. See, now we lost the reduction that we were having here. Because of that cool bullshit. Bullshit, goddammit! Um, you're playing for the guards, right? 55 guards, 28. Folks are going down. Yeah. What if we keep the folks here by giving them some music? Okay. And uh, we can't upgrade the furniture. We don't have enough money for that. Eh, let's start a new week. Someone walks into your tavern. He is hurt. Is it bad? Is that a joke? Uh, <laughs> is it bad, I guess? You run over to the man and help him stand up. I don't know why I walked right into this tavern wall, he says. Plus five, cool. No, I stopped making me cool. I don't want to be a cool guy. I want the deductions. You are so cool that you have 1% more customers. Oh. Well, I guess that's fine. I guess we'll be cool now. <laughs> I don't know. I, I prefer the discounts, but I guess since we're now being leaned towards cool, regardless of which, we might as well take advantage of it. Wow, we're losing folks by really, really fast here. Okay. Their music is playing too, though, huh? Oh, there's 1%. I might get rid of this music here pretty soon, just kind of focus on the guards and rogues going forward. What a bar to have! Just rogues and bards, or rogues and, um, guards. Talk about a mismatch. Let's start a new week. A young farmhand is at your bar asking for a particularly strong beer. It's hard to tell if he's a beige to drink or not. Old enough is ask, old enough is to ask, or, wait, what? Old enough to ask is old enough to drink. There you go. One probably shouldn't give him something he can't handle. <laughs> uh, let's go with that one. If he's asking for a drink, let's give him a drink. 
The lad smiles, takes the beer, and drinks it in one swing. He looks a bit wasted and stumbles to a table where his friends greet him with cheers. Well, at least he's in good hands. Plus four, cool. More customers, correct? Hope so. We have 852 guards coming in, 378 rogues, and 216 folks. No wanderers whatsoever. None at all. Now, let's see, how's our breakdown? 11%? Yeah, our folks are just going down, down, down. Alright. But, we're up to 4,300 now. So, I do believe now we, ho we hook this one up, finally. Or should we just wait one more week so we make sure we don't go under the our budget here? Nah, let's just live a little bit here. Let's go ahead and buy this. Oh, we have a waitress now. Quite difficult to say no to. Um, what I could do is now, since we're losing folks either way, let's get rid of the sickle. Have dehydrated appetizers in the waitress, and then we have 1500 a week coming in. So, you know what, folks? I gave you guys a shot. You weren't down to play ball with me, so you guys go away. And let's hope that now we have some crazy money coming in. During the few months you've spent as a tavernier, never has such an occurrence happened. A real gin? I think the D is silent in this one. A real gin. A magical creature set to grant wishes stands before you. Let's just call him a genie, how about that? Hello, tavernier! I wish to drink a beer. That's what this building is about, right? You tell him that's yes, and inform him that it'll cost 10 gold pieces. Gold pieces? I never heard of them before. Is that a mortal thing? It's money, right? Hmm. I don't have any Do you accept wishes as payment. This could be an incredible turn of events. Wish for power, wish for wealth. <laughs> you know me, man. I'm looking for that cash money. The djinn smiles and a small electrical arc appears around him. Ah, yes, a wise choice. It is easy to lose oneself in delusions of grandeur. And hard to stay true to one's ambitions. Your wish is granted. What did you do to me? Oh, he's, he's there. There, that should do it. Congratulations, you now have naturally... A, you now naturally attract money and rich people. Or persons, I guess. You won't be rich overnight, but you might notice patrons tipping much more than before. On top of that, your tavern will now be visited by wealthier clients, once ready to pay a lot for a good meal. How you use both of these towns is up to you. Of course, just be careful, for powers are never without risk and require balance. Okay. Hey! Oh, no way! The people have changed! Look at this guy over here! And we have like a little bit of a tip jar too, or a tip plate. This is really cool. I like how this game keeps switching stuff up on you. Reminds me a little bit of um, this is the police where you're playing the game and you're going into it, and suddenly something new pops in like halfway through the game. Pretty neat. Uh, Thirty-one hundred gold is what we have at the moment. Pretty good. I really want to open up another slot. That's going to be nine thousand. How about we go for the upgrade furniture so we get some more people in here? Or I could just get a better meal. Eighteen hundred for coconuts. Um, you know what? We still have food for the folks, which are going down anyway. Oh, now we have nobles at 20 per- <gasps> Do we have items for the nobles? We do! Yo, I want nobles in here because they'll give probably more money than everybody else. And we have a tip tar- a tip tar- <laughs> a tip thing as well. Tipping, uh, 1% buy me for 5,000 gold. So we'll get plus 1% tipping per week. Right now we're at 10%, huh? Okay. Wow, this is really neat. Customers, what about customers? One more per week for 5,000. Alignment, professional. I mean, I guess we'll stick with cool for now. And gold, okay, we have 6,000 6, for that one right here. I really want to pick this up. We'll lose rogues and folks, but that's fine. At least guards and nobles will be here instead. Yeah, I think we pick that up. I'm sorry, rogues, it's time for you to go. And now we pick up the mirror. And that will be nobles and guard-centric. Alrighty, and the nobles should bring in some good money for us, too. I still want to get this. However, I think our next upgrade will be more customers going forward. So we need to get up to 4,000, huh? Okay. Um, and since we're saying no to... Um, or we're going away with the rogues... Well, I, I mean, for now, we should have more of their food here. Because the folks are basically done at this point. So both of these have to go. Oh, the nobles, right. Let me go to my tab, my little cave here. So, um, folks are done with. So bananas out the way, you out the way. Let's go ahead and pick up pepper for the nobles. And herbs as well, why not? And we also have the stuff for the guards, and then this is gonna be for the rogues. Well, I mean, we still have a couple of rogues here left over until they're completely gone, so we'll keep these around for now. And this works out pretty well. All right, let's go up. Yeah, this is really awesome. 
Look at that money, man. Uh, in the middle of your inn, two nobles begin to yell at one another. Then one slaps the other, challenging him to a duel. They both come to you, asking you to be their arbiter. It would be an honor to take on such a role. Let's get, let's go behind the inn. Not my job. If you want a beer, I can serve you. Otherwise, go outside for your own affairs. If only nobles liked you more. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and um, go with the first one here. The duel starts after a few passes. The defender wins. He thanks you and walks home. It seems you'll have to do the cleaning yourself. Why did I lose money for this? Oh, come on! How did our tips do? 154? I lost money for that one. Come on! Come on! I wanted to be a cool guy! You know, where I could be like, yeah, you guys could have duels all you want. I'll even be the, the referee, I guess. Didn't really plan out how I wanted it to. Um, so for now, let's just go ahead and start a new week, because we can't do much of anything else. Uh, unrest has been growing among workers and craftsmen as of late. Apparently, syn syndicalism syndicalism is catching up among them. You don't really understand the details, but it's about workers being allowed to band together to defend their rights, which sounds nice, but also very annoying for nobles. So it's kind of like a workers' union, I guess, in a sense, huh? Well, I'm going nobles heavy here, so... Peh! Who needs others? Or let them use your tavern as headquarters? If only folks liked you more. I don't really care about the folks, so let me go ahead and go with that one. Nobles! I'm your guy! Folks aren't happy that they won't be able to use your tavern as a headquarter. Still, they accept it and leave in droves. Hey, at least you won't be responsible for any blue blood's debt in case of a revolution. Nobles went up. Oh, we lost customers though in the process. Well, what can you do? At least we'll bring in some nobles, I hope. Money's looking pretty good. Uh, we're at 5,200. We're very close to this um, furniture upgrade, I want to say. Look at the area. Now it's getting filled up with all these noble people as well. You got the ladies here too. Ladies? Hey, 41% with nobles. Rogues are going down. Guards are also going down. Hey, do you have any music for the nobles? You do. Oh, yeah. Let's go with the nobles, baby. All right, so let's go over here and start a new... Actually, we should probably go with the guards, I would say. Yeah, because I wanted to be kind of split. Guards and nobles. The rock music changed for the guards, huh? So the music also changes along with the game. That's pretty neat. Um, all right, let's go ahead and start our new week here. A few folks are discussing a recent business that just arrived in town. It's an investment thing. You give them money up front, and they make sure you earn a bit more each day. Your business sense is tingling. You ask them a few questions, making sure it's not a scam. But apparently, it's the real deal. 3000 for an investment, huh? What do you guys think? If only I was richer, I could even invest more. I mean, we have enough money now to get the upgrade to our furniture. I don't think this is a bad idea, though. 3000 We have the money for it. Let's go for it. It's a good business practice to start to have several plans and fallback options. Setting aside a small fund, you invest in the company. In return, they outfit your tavern with new tipping jar and a few tips to get more benefits from it. It should pay off in the, off in the long run. Yay! Tipping power plus... Hey, we're up to 30% tipping! Sweet! How's our tips looking like now? Oh, until next week, maybe? Yeah, I guess not until the next week. We'll see that. But our profits went down, but that's only because we invested 3000 into that business here at the moment. I'm not too worried about that. Mm, but yeah, for now, we won't get the upgrade, but we, I really want to get that at some point. How are we doing here? 44, 44, and 12% with the rogues. Not bad. Oh, here we go again. According to your friends, the secret meeting should be denied, right? Can I get in here this time? Oh, I can! I can do it, hold up. You take your cloak and a nice bag of gold for bribes and whatnot, and go straight into the guarded entrance, determined to make it through. Hidden near the walls, the flight of stairs still goes deep underground. You put up your best smile, a smug attitude, and walk as if you already owned the place. You sense this guard's hesitation? This might just work! Um, yeah, go straight forward. You step forward, the guard comes back to his senses, he- ah, oh, He blocks the entry with a firm grip on his weapon. Sorry, pal. If it were up to me, I'd let you in, but this might be- this meeting is invite only. You'll need to have someone trusted vouching for you if you want to enter. Okay, but we've made some progress. Now the guards are willing to let me in because uh, my guard is really... My my tavern is really guard heavy. Okay, pretty cool. What about our tips now? Hey, 2400 profit. Money's coming in, people. Money's coming in. How about we get the upgrade to the furniture now? Absolutely. Maybe we'll see you next week. Okay, so let's go into it next week now. Oh. You're adorable! A small child with half-closed eyes and a striped shirt approaches you. She silently presents three tokens to you, a toy knife, a friendship bracelet, and a storybook. If I was cooler, I could apparently do the... 
The friendship bracelet, huh? Hmm. Toy knife. Or the book. Let's look dangerous, huh? The child gives you a creepy smile. You hear maniacal laughter coming from somewhere in your tavern. When you look back where it came from, you see a simple flower with yellow petals. You blink and both the flower and the child are gone. During the coming week, most of your usual patrons seem to be missing. Weird. No! No! What did you do? I should have gone with the book, man. Should have gone with the book. Alright, let's see about our decorations now. 9,000 for the next upgrade. Mm -hmm. What about gold? 6,000. Okay, we're getting close to the gold one as well. Alignment. I think we need an alignment one now, man. Like, maybe get rid of the alignment and... High-grade appetizers. Go away, and then we get the cool alignment. Because... Yeah. I mean, we're heading towards cool anyway. Let's buy the alignment. Oh, actually, wait. We can't do it. It's 5,000. But I do want to get that at some point. Nobles, 10% up. Guards and Wanderers down. Hmm, not too crazy about that one. What about tipping? Well, still decoration, though. 5,000. Yeah, a lot of these are really expensive now, so we might have to hold up. Hmm, 1,800 for the Nobles. Let's start doing this. Let me buy the Paprika, I think. Wait, 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 wait. 48 and 52. Alright, so let's go into the cave. And get rid of that one for good. And let's buy the deer jerky for the guards. I mean, we know that we're cool with the guards, right? Now maybe we need somebody as a nobleman to vouch for us through these meetings. So I think the more um, we vouch towards nobles, the better, huh? So let's do the paprika one. And that's good. I'll roll with this for now. And we'll do one more week and we'll rally wrap it up here, guys. You hear a yelp at the back of your tavern. Apparently you have a rat problem now. Have them exterminated for 900 gold? Well, that's just too bad. Now let's, yeah, let's exterminate them. It takes some time, but the professionals know their job. Soon your tavern is free of vermin of any kind. You shrug and resume your daily activities. Now we're professional towards 10. No! You keep switching me from one side to the other one, game. Oh, where are we at now? So now we're professionals again. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up here for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. As I mentioned, if you want to see some more, let me know in the comments. And we'll continue going forward. We have 30 weeks, huh? I could probably do this in, like, two more videos, huh? Maybe we do the rest of the thing. I don't know. Let me know in the comments and by leaving a like. I will catch you next time.